Hi there, good morning and welcome to today's product in focus. As you can see there, the US 30 has gapped up higher this morning. It's now heading potential resistance at 16401 on the back of Chinese monetary stimulus hopes. Uh, and as you can see there, if we do break above there and close above there, next potential support is at 16,598. You throw into the fact that there might be a cut in ECB rates as early as Thursday, and uh, progress being made by John Kerry and his Russian counterpart in France over the Ukraine crisis. There seems to be a little bit of bullish momentum in the market today, but will it continue is a good question. UK 100 has actually gapped up higher this morning and is continuing to um, advance towards its potential resistance at 6,666, which also was its 55 period SMA. Any move beyond that opens up the next potential resistance at 67.13. But if we hit resistance here, we could reverse back down. Next potential support is at 65.81. Looking at the Japan 225, it had been having a good day. Bit of a doji formation forming here, close to potential resistance at 14.977. That's also hitting the 55 period SMA. And we are seeing some interesting moves on dollar yen, uh, but it's more yen weakness than it is dollar strength that's helping to push the Japan 225 up a little bit higher. Looking at the Japan 225, we are trading above potential resistance at 102 spot 87. Next potential resistance is at 103 spot 77. And we are trading above both uh, SMAs and that kind of strategic level just now. It is very important that it stays above here and doesn't close below 102 spot 87 if it's going to try and make a move to go a bit higher. Looking at West Texas, there has been some um, oil production worries in uh, North Africa and Libya, uh, Chinese stimulus, and um, Obviously that ECB rate cut as well to help to stimulate the Eurozone is pushing up crude oil. Uh, we've hit potential resistance at 103, uh, and we, that was on Friday, and today we're hitting this floating above there. We need a break above 103 to be able to challenge 105. Uh, a break and close above there but could be an interesting technical catalyst for that. And obviously we've got crude oil inventories on Wednesday as well. Looking at, looking at gold, it's still feeling the pressure this morning, trading below potential support at 12.95. Uh, doji formation, yes, on Friday. Uh, still a down day again today. Uh, potentially capped with that 55 period SMA. Next potential support is at 12.67. Any move to the upside, will, uh, the next potential resistance there is all the way at 13.32, so we're a long way away from there right now. It looks to be at 12.95 is going to be the strategic level in the short term. Looking at your dollar, it uh, um, bounced this morning, so it opened up a little bit higher. Um, this is a hammer formation we had on Friday, but we seem to be capped by that potential resistance at 37.72. If we do see a reversal back down, nice potential support is at 37.09. That's also the 55 period SMA. And if we have a look at GBP USD, it's kind of floating in the middle of two ranges right now. This has been a really strong uptrend right here. Uh, five up days. Uh, we're in negative territory right now. I am seeing, looking at other FX pairs, emerging markets, that the US dollar is actually a little bit weaker today. Uh, in general, it's not just uh, not just against sterling, uh, but this isn't exactly a pronounced move to the to the downside. We are trading above both uh, 21 and 55 period SMA, potential resistance at 67.44, and obviously potential support is all the way down, around about 65.19. So we're a long way away from there right now. Economic data wise, you don't have a lot today, but you do have a lot more tomorrow. Later on today, you do have uh, PMI due at 2.45. You fast forward on tomorrow, lots of data. You've got Chinese uh, PMI. That's obviously going to be important when it comes to Chinese monetary stimulus hopes. You've got German PMI. That's going to be good for Euro dollar and Germany 30. Uh, you've got unemployment, uh, jobless rates in G uh, Germany as well. So same rules apply. UK PMI, Eurozone jobless rate, and US uh, manufacturing PMI. So actually loads of um, fundamentals due out uh, tomorrow. And you've also got um, domestic auto industry sales. Uh, over in the US tomorrow as well. So not so much in the way of fundamentals today. Tomorrow could be a little bit more volatile. Keep your eye on the chart forum for more updates from CMT clients and our analyst team. I can actually see there's quite a few CMT clients posting in here, so please feel free to post your own analysis, guys. And make sure you make insights part of your layer so you can get uh, the inside track of what's moving the markets from our global analyst team. And join me again tomorrow to find out what happened next.